Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk real quick about responsibility. And this is a topic that so many people feel like they they know what it means or they know what it is, but they really have no clue. So the first thing that I need you to know is that if there's anything in your life that you want to change, you have got to take responsibility for the way that it is currently right now. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. They want to say that it's everybody else's fault that things are the way they are. They want to say that they didn't do anything wrong or they're trying the hardest that they can. And so they shouldn't have to feel responsible for their situation. But if you are unwilling to take responsibility for your current situation, nothing is ever going to change. By believing that you have no power, you don't have any power. That's the biggest problem with if you want to take your power back, you have to believe that you have power. You have the power to change your circumstances. And the only way to do that is to take responsibility for the way they currently are. What's up, Becky? I was just telling everybody else that's not in our awesome fantastical seven day challenge group, a little bit about what we talked about yesterday in the challenge group. And that is taking responsibility for your current situation, right? It's like, um, okay, I'm back. I lost my connection for a second. Anyway, what I was saying is that if you are trying to get directions somewhere like Google maps, right? The first thing that it tells you, the first thing you have to know is where you're at right now. So if you're lying to yourself about where you're at right now, how you got to where you're at right now, and you're trying to pass the blame onto everybody else, there's no way anything is ever going to change in your life, right? Yes, Becky. Yes. Hi, Carlos. Nice to have you here. So there's a big difference between blame and responsibility. Blame is where you feel like you're like, um, you or whoever caused the situation is at fault and there's no way to change it. And there's like hard feelings around the situation and you're powerless, right? But responsibility is like, okay, well, I had a hand in what happened to me, or I had a, I had a, a choice that I made that made this happen. Um, and I'm going to do whatever I can to fix it. I used this example yesterday with my challenge group that, um, it's like, if you go down a dark alley and you get mugged, like, it's not your fault you got mugged. It's the mugger's fault. The guy's a dick, right? But you do still have to take responsibility for the situation because you chose to walk down that alley, right? Like, if you had chosen to not walk down the dark alley, you probably wouldn't have gotten mugged. So it's not your fault. And what happened to you shouldn't have happened to you. But it's still your responsibility to fix the situation. Like, maybe next time, don't go down dark alleys by yourself at night, right? It's super simple. Um, another example that I use for this analogy is like people who are getting a divorce. Let's say you're in a relationship with somebody and the wife is like, I need more attention. You work too much. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to leave. And the husband doesn't stop what he's doing. He keeps working because he feels the need to provide financially for her. And she decides that is whatever is not good enough. And she leaves. Who's at fault? right? Well, the woman is the one who decided to leave. So it's her fault that marriage ended, right? Or is it the guy's fault because he didn't do what she wanted? Like you see, there's a little bit of room for interpretation there. They're both responsible for the situation because they both made choices. Um, but neither one of them is really at fault. So this is where you need to let go of the idea of whose fault it is, um, and take responsibility for the way things currently are. Then you can start to change it. Um, if your body is not where you want it to be, even if you're a professional bodybuilder, right? If you don't win your show and you feel like you didn't step on stage with the best physique possible, whose fault is that? Right? It's, there's a lot of factors that come into play. It could be stress. It could be food intake, water intake. Your coach had something to do with it. Your own actions had something to do with it, but it all boils down to like, it's your responsibility to make a change if you want to do better next time. So if this is hitting you hard, right? If this is resonating with you, if you're like, oh, dang, I need to take responsibility for my life so that I can change it. And you think that learning more about how to apply techniques to your personal situation in order to see the results that you want is something that you want in your life, then shoot me a, a private message because my seven day challenge group just started yesterday. We're only one day in. Um, it's going to be 
awesome, you guys, and it's not too late to join. You can watch the replay from the video yesterday and catch up really quickly. All I have, um, all I need you to do is fill out like a short little form, just real quick about like what you want, what your goals are. Um, so that way I know what kind of content to deliver to you guys in order to make it the best experience possible. Seriously, it's like two minutes, super fast. I'll get you added to the group. We have a fantastic support group. Thanks, Becky. People respect honesty. Yeah. Um, and it's difficult because sometimes when you're honest with people, it's, it doesn't make them happy right away. But in the long run, it, it is for the best. And that's what I'm trying to do for all the people in my challenge group, um, all my personal clients. The, I try to be honest with them about their situation that they, you know, and, and help them see it in a way that they, it might not feel good at first, but in the long run, it gives them the opportunity to create what they actually truly want out of life. And that's what I really want to do for people is I want to help them achieve the body, achieve the life, achieve the relationships, the careers of their dreams, right? Because you can have it all. You just need the right technique, the right motivation and the right mindset. So if you want to join this uh, challenge group, Becky's in it. She's been commenting on this video. She's super awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yesterday's call was short and sweet. It'll be really easy to catch up. Today's call is going to be a little bit longer. So make sure you get in. Uh, the call today is going down at 3, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So try to get in before that if you can. Otherwise, you guys can wait till the next round. Um, not sure when it's going to start, though. So get in while you can, you guys. I love you. I'm going to the gym. hope you guys have a fantastic day.